Hi friends, welcome to another piano tutorial. My name is Josh and today I'm going to teach you how to play the song Arcade by Duncan Lawrence. This is, uh, I'd say about a medium difficulty song to learn. It has some parts that are pretty easy, but then some other parts that are a little more tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to pick up at least some of it if you give it a shot. As always, if you are enjoying this video, remember to give it a like that helps support me and my channel. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it or if you have a song you would like to suggest and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see every video that I put out and you can hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified as well. All right, let's jump into this tutorial right away. All right, everyone, let's get started with this tutorial now. First things first, this song is in the key of A minor. So we have no sharps or flats. It's gonna be all white keys. That should make things a little bit simpler for you. So one important thing to note for this song is that in some parts of the song, we're gonna be in a three, four time signature, meaning that we're gonna have three beats in every measure. But then in other parts of the song, we're gonna be in a four, four time signature, meaning we'll have four beats in every measure. I'll be sure to note those as we go through the different sections, but that's just something to be aware of. Sometimes it's gonna feel like we're in three and sometimes it'll feel like we're in four. So I'm sure you wanna learn that intro part right away, but we're actually gonna get started with the verse because that's gonna be very similar to the intro, but a bit easier even. So we're gonna start down here um, with our first chord and that's gonna be an F major chord. We're gonna play an F and C here in the left hand and then an A in the right hand. Now in the left hand, it doesn't really matter what fingers you use, just use whatever's comfortable for you. But in the right hand, I suggest using your second finger here on this A because that's gonna help when we're playing the intro part later. So once again, that's our first chord, F. For our next chord, we're just gonna move up in the left hand and then up in the right hand, one white key also, to a G major chord, G, D, and B. For our third chord, we're gonna move everything down two steps, now to an E, and B here in the left hand, and then a G here in the right hand with our thumb now. That's our E minor chord. And then lastly, we're just gonna go back to our first chord, F major. So this is gonna be one of the sections of the song that's gonna be in a three, four time signature. So what we're going to do is each of these chords is going to get one beat for the first measure, and then in the second measure, we're gonna to get to our F chord, and we are gonna just play that for the entire measure for all three beats. Let me show you what I mean. F here will get one beat, G will get one beat, E minor, one beat, and then this F chord here is gonna get a whole major, uh, excuse me, a whole measure. So if we count it out, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, one two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it just repeats like that. All right, once you get that down, and if you haven't got that down yet, go back and rewatch that section because that's gonna be important for the next section, which is going to be the intro. Um, so looking at the intro, we're just gonna take our same chord here, F major, but we're just gonna move it all up an octave. So we'll be up here at this F major chord now but it's gonna be the exact same fingering, exact same chord, just a different voicing. So remember before we had this pattern. So for the intro, it's gonna be very simple. All we're gonna be doing is adding an extra note in between each chord. So for instance, we'll start here on the F, add the C before going to the G major chord, then add the D before going to E minor, and then add an extra G before going to F. And in time, we're gonna be playing those right before we switch chords. So it's gonna sound like this. Just like that. So I usually will continue a little longer on that second measure. So it'll sound like this now. I usually will count to five actually. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then continue. Two, three, 
two, three, four, five, and then into the verse. So now we're gonna get more into the verse actually, go back to the verse. So in the second half of the verse, instead of just playing, our playing simple chords like this, we're actually gonna bring a bit of rhythm into it now. So now what I like to do is play octaves in the left hand. So we'll start here with an F. If that's too much of a reach for you, you can just play a single F, that's fine. But I'll play Fs here in the left hand and then I'm gonna start with F, A, and C here in the right hand. For the G chord, we'll just move everything up. We'll have G, B, D now in the right hand. E minor, we'll move down here to E, G, and B. And then back up to our F chord, just like before. And the way that we're gonna play this part, the second half of the verse, is we're gonna play the left hand on the beat. And then in between beats, we're gonna play the right hand, but we're gonna go up like this, playing 16th notes right here. So that first measure is just like this. One, two, three, and then we'll get to the second measure now. So in the second measure, we're just gonna be staying on this F chord, but instead of playing the right hand like this, we're just gonna be playing these first two notes, F and A, moving up like that, and we're just gonna be resting on that last 16th note. So it's gonna sound like this. One, E, and two E and three E and, and then we'll repeat. Like that. A little more up to tempo and you'll get something that sounds like this. Just like that. All right, so that is the verse. Now we are into the pre-chorus and here we're finally gonna have some new changes, some different chords here in this section. So we're gonna start with our F chord again and I'm just gonna play octaves in the left hand and here I'm gonna be playing the third of our F major chord. So remember, this is our F major chord, F, A, C. We're just gonna be playing the A here in the right hand. So that's gonna be our first chord, F, and then we're just gonna be moving everything up to the G. G major chord. And now to our new chord, A minor, we'll have A's in the left hand, and then again we'll be playing the third, which is C for our A minor chord. We'll move back down to the G, go down to F again, G, and now a new chord again, D minor. We'll play D's in the left hand here, and then we'll add this F in the right hand. And now adding some rhythm into this section, this is gonna be the first section that we are gonna transition into that four, four time signature. So we're gonna be counting to four now in each measure instead of to three. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be alternating really between this thumb and then our right hand. So it's just gonna sound like this. And then we'll just repeat for all the other chords. Just like that. A little faster now, we can begin to add some counting as well. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. And then here on the D minor chord, we're just gonna sit there and wait until we get into our chorus. All right, so now we get here into the chorus. In the chorus, I am a lot more lenient with um, exactly what notes I'm playing. I usually will mix it up every time because in the first half of that song before the chorus, the piano is really like the star of the show. We're really hearing a lot of that. But then once we get into the chorus, it's a lot more powerful. We hear a lot more drums and stuff. So that is why um, I usually just like to play the chords as full as I can and kind of just try to mix them together like I do. So. But we'll go over those chords now. Our first chord here is just gonna be A minor. So here, for each chord, I think I'm just gonna show you octaves in the left hand and then I'll show you the notes here in the right hand. So I'll play A's in the left hand and then E, A, C in the right hand. That's our first chord, A minor. We'll just move everything down to a G chord now. Everything down one note. Now our third chord, 
is gonna be a C major chord, C's in the left hand, C, E, and G in the right hand. And then we'll finish with an F chord. F's in the left hand, A, C, and F here in the right hand. Then we're gonna go back to an A minor chord now. I usually like to voice it a little different, but you could play it exactly the same as before if you wanted to. But I might play it like this, down to G again. And now, instead of going to C like we did before, we're just gonna go straight to our F chord. Here, like this. All right, in time now, that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you can repeat it if the chorus gets repeated. It doesn't the first time through the chorus, but I think in later courses, you play that section a couple times. The one last thing I wanna show you on this course before we move on to the bridge, which is gonna be the last section, is that near the end of the song, we hear the chords get changed up a little bit. So what those are is, I usually like to play the right hand exactly the same. So like A minor, G, C and F like we were playing before. But in the left hand, we're actually gonna start down here on a D and we'll keep our A minor in the right hand. And then we're just gonna walk up. So now to an E when we have our G chord. Oh, excuse me. An F here in the left hand when we have our C chord. And then we'll get two G's here while we play our F chord. And then we just get back to our A minor, G, and F. It's just a cool way that they mix up the bass notes to kind of, you know, make it sound a little bit different, which is really cool. So up to tempo, you might play that section more like this. All right, now the last section we're gonna have here is the bridge. This section is really easy. We're gonna be using a very similar voicing to these chords that we did in the verse and intro, where we're gonna be playing the first and the fifth here in the left hand, and then adding the third here in the right hand. So this is our first chord, D minor. That's just gonna be D, A, and F. And then we're just gonna be shifting the same fingering to different places like we were before. So that's our first chord, D minor. Now to a C chord. C, G, E, and then we'll go down to a G major chord, G, D, and B. After this, we'll go back to a C chord, same pose as before, E minor chord, E, B, G, and lastly, an F major chord, like that. Played in time now, that'll sound like this. And all right, that's all these sections that we are gonna go over today. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. All right, that brings us to the end of today's piano tutorial. Once again, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember that if you did enjoy it to leave a like or a comment, I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. And yeah, that's all I've got. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.